What a nightmare. This build is for Jimmy. Jimmy D, if you're in here, I love you. So what we did for Jimmy, we blacked out a set of Mark IIs, whatever you want to call them, right? So we got the ZX7s, raw blackout. Jimmy's a long time BBNF co-loyalist, but he wanted to keep it simple. So I, I gotta pay attention to both cameras, I think. And then we got the Axiom 125X. All right, and so Jimmy's a, a strong swinger, I guess is the, the word that I'm looking for. But he's currently in Project X six and a half. So what we did, transitioning to the graphite, these Axiom 125Xs are so stout. So what we did is for the four and five, we essentially soft stepped them once. I love Axioms. Axioms are the best for fitting on the planet. Now, Jimmy specs, we essentially went the long parallel in the four and the five iron, the mid parallels from the six through the eight. So six, seven, eight's the mid, nine in the pitching wire. So it varies a little bit. It's essentially a so, uh, one-time soft step. I've already prepped everything. Hosels are prepped. Tips, uh, the shafts are already tipped. Before we get started on the build, I just want to say one thing. We are now an authorized Srixen retailer, okay? But our current setup with our account, uh, we have a components account. The reason why we set the components account was so that I could offer our clients and customers the top tier shafts that they want without having to charge them to pull the shafts and put new ones in. Once I figure out how to use some of these uh, different types of software that I've purchased, like um, Adobe Illustrator, I'm gonna be making some graphics and trying to drop them um, on the website. The website's gonna get overhauled. But basically, we're gonna be doing ZX4s, ZX5s, or ZX7s, and uh, with BBNF Co. Ferrells, your choice, for it starting at 1818 plus tax. If you can find me a better deal, I'll match it, I guess. But that's built, so we'll build them live for you here on YouTube, on Instagram, and I guess wherever else you guys decide you want to see me. Every client's order will be live streamed and, and released on YouTube and clipped and everything. So with all that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. YouTube, this is my first video. Please like and subscribe. I gotta get used to saying that. <sighs> all right, so I know you guys are gonna probably wanna uh, know some things, and I, I personally, I'm a talker. So I can't stop talking. So what I'm gonna do is just tell you how I do this. I'm using 30 minute epoxy here. I always build my first, my four, or whatever the longest iron. I always build one club first to make sure my fit up is good. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build our, our four iron here. And we're just mixing, mixing our epoxy. And again, I just use the 30 minute epoxy, it's the easiest. It's the easiest to work with, everything sets up in time. I can't, unless you guys want the lowdown on exactly how to mix epoxy. Huh? Okay, so, first club. Now keep in mind, I can't stress, and you'll see on later videos, I cannot stress the importance of properly prepping your shafts, your ferrules, and your iron heads before you assemble. And we'll go in depth on that in another video. Um, or, or I guess as we go, we'll kind of learn more. Okay, so popping the ferrule on. Okay, so little tip, pro tip. I have this set up for the depth of my hosel. So I don't have to sit here and slam this thing. I can tell how much farther I may need to go. Because what we like here at King Pine Golf Company, proper fit, proper flight. Okay, so again, I only used enough epoxy here for one club. Why? Because I just want to build one club real quick. Okay, pro tip. Strix and iron heads are tapped. 
okay? What does that mean? They're threaded. If you turn the shaft left, you will thread the epoxy deeper. If you turn the shaft to the right, you will thread the epoxy out, right? So what's the most important thing? Proper coverage of epoxy on these graphite shafts. Proper tipping. And lastly, because these are black heads, I have to be extremely careful that we don't accidentally bend any, uh, you know, scratch anything. These things are so sick. Woo, come on. Okay, so I am a perfectionist, right? Take our time, make sure our process for this extremely nice custom set of really expensive golf clubs is dialed right in, right? Do it right because we do it once. So I'm just cleaning up any residual epoxy here. This epoxy right now is almost completely set, right? By the time I set this on the drying rack, it's basically gonna be, it's gonna be done and we'll be on to the next one. Okay, first one's down, first one's drying. And now we can do two at a time, right? We know that went together perfect, so now we're gonna do the rest of these. Four through pitching wedge, we'll do two at a time. Bada bing, bada boom. Making sure your shafts are properly prepped and your hosels are properly prepped. If you need help learning how to properly prep the, uh, the shafts and the iron heads, You'll have to catch that in a video at a later date. Boom, little. But if you're building clubs, with quick set epoxy and you're trying to do two ferrules twice with black shafts, which is about, like that's a lot. Under those circumstances, always put your ferrules on first. It makes them way easier to slide on. Because once this epoxy starts to set up a little bit, it makes it way, 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 way harder to uh, slide that on. Boom, okay. So now here's a little, I'm just gonna set this here because I'm gonna be able to Spin that. Whoops. I'm gonna be able to spin that in a second if I need to, just to get the alignment dead on. But as you can see, before the epoxy gets too set up, we gotta do this second club first. All right, two down, three down, three down, three down. Excuse me, not to prep them too much. So, now that, that one's all together real quick before this sets up anymore. I always write, less so with like steel shafts, but Especially with the axioms and the graphite. The last thing I want to do is have to pull one of these. So what I do is I I write the uh, the club number on the on the shaft label. If I had to mix it up, so I can always have a quick reference. I do that while I'm prepping the shaft. 
That way while we're building, we don't have a mix-up. Because mix-ups are costly. time I've done this this week. Okay, last two. And we'll cut them, turn the ferrules, get some content. The last two. Tomorrow we're going to be building a set of Yonix. We've got our boy Alex, uh, his heads should be coming in here hopefully this week, so we'll build, be building a crazy set of ZX-5s for our boy Alex coming up. That's going to be exciting to look forward to. So that'll be exciting. He's our first order since we have our new account. Since we're officially Srixing guys. So, that'll be a fun build for him. iron is complete. Well, not complete yet. Almost complete. Last but not least, whipping up our, P our PW, pitching wedge, or if you ask cowboy people, apparently they're calling it a 10 iron. Thank you. We'll see you at the next video. See you at the next build.